Hey everyone, welcome to the Anderson Bros Outdoors. I'm Jake. Today we're going to be testing this thing. It is a Hobby Wing Fusion Pro 2-in-1 motor, so stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back. As I said, my name is Jake. In today's episode, we are going to be throwing another motor on the dyno. To date, we've been running a 1400 kV drone motor like this. It's called an outrunner because the out side of it spins versus the inside with different ESCs. We've tested the Castle ESC, tested the Rhino 40 amp ESC. However, today we're gonna test this two-in-one fusion to see what the difference is between that setup and an all-in-one setup like this. We're not gonna get into the technical details because we're not, <laughs> we're not electrical engineers. Uh, we just wanna provide the data, the results of these tests for the community to see. Now there is a disclaimer, you're really probably only ever gonna see this type of load on your motor in something that's super heavy. So maybe like a Traxxas TRX-6 hauler or a, a truck that's pulling a, a trailer or something like that where you're going to have a lot of weight and it's going to cause a lot of stress on the motor. This specific motor is a 2300 kV 540 spec motor. As I said, it is a two-in-one, meaning that the ESC is built into the motor and it is very compact. It's all nice and one piece, which is why they are really popular. Without further ado, let's jump into the testing. This motor is 2S and 3S capable. We're going to start out on 2S, as you can see, it does have a sign mode. It's really FOC, field oriented operating. I don't know, some, some control. So let's start off. The video is a minute into the test already. It is what it is. Unfortunately, I, I forgot to press play and the test was already in motion. So. We did test the uh, FOC capabilities of the motor and that's basically sign mode for these drone ESCs. It does work, it does do very low RPM. Uh, we have a minute with the three to 400 RPM range. Uh, we're bumping it up now to the eight to 900 RPM range. The temperatures are looking good. Uh, we did put the temperature probe on the power wire. So we set it between the power wire and the a uh, piece of rubber insulation on the motor itself for the power wire. Uh, we're not really seeing a significant increase in temperature here as of yet. Uh, we're really only at 82 degrees. Fahrenheit ambient is uh, 76 degrees. We are loading the dyno pretty good. Uh, we're not drawing many amps. I think it's one and a half amps and like 13 watts. So everything's going good so far. The two minute mark is approaching. So we will bump it up to the next RPM, which is going to be roughly 14 to 1500 RPM. Now you can see we did increase our output, so the scale's reading higher. Uh, we are, we jumped from one, one and a half to about four and a half amps. Now we jumped to around 35 watts. And the temperature is, is steadily increasing. It's not rapidly increasing, it's just increasing, so. So something interesting happens here. The, the RPM starts to fall a little bit from 1400 to 1300, uh, and we're about to increase the load again. So it's like it's sensing that it is being overwhelmed and it's dropping the RPM on its own. Now that we're at the three minute mark, we do increase the RPM to 2000 RPM. However, we, we experience the same thing, like the RPM starts to decline again so we have to exponentially increase we have to turn it up more to stay at the 1800 18 to 1900 rpm range we didn't just go to the next setting like we typically do on the drone escs we had to go to like three or four settings past that because the motor is trying to throttle itself
we are at the almost the four minute mark we're at 108 degrees and it's like 70 76 degrees ambient of the motor and it's again throttling itself almost to zero we have to turn it almost all the way up to get the 2200 rpm mark and at this point the motor is just overheated uh, this is an interesting run because typically we would get the full five minutes out of a drone esc and outrunner combination before we reach the mark of having to turn it down however at the three ish three to four minute mark really two and a half to four minute mark this motor started throttling itself it's definitely interesting to see moving into the next test uh, we are on 3s for this test that's the max battery voltage that this motor will sustain. Hobby Wing, if you're watching this, please, please, please make a two in one that goes from two to four S. We really want a four S version of this. I don't care if you need to put a fan in it, whatever the case is, we, we would prefer to run four S for our servos. You can see that the RPM gauge is a little touchy. After a minute, we do bump it up from 600 to around 14 to 1500 RPM. The temperature is still relatively low, 76 degrees ambient versus 78 degrees, 79 degrees for the motor.
343, the motor just, it just dies. So we do hit 100, 200 de degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So it does get really hot. The motor thermaled itself and turned off. Now the motor isn't dead. It still operates and functions as it should. You really don't want to bring the motor to that temperature many times because it is going to decrease the longevity of the motor and it will burn it up faster. With that being said, the testing is over. Uh, it was a short run. Let's talk about some things that, that I like about this motor. So first and foremost, I like that it is a pre-packaged two-in-one ESC motor and it is fantastic. The FOC acts just like sign mode and you can get a very slow, steady crawl and it's consistent, persistent, if you will. It will crawl through any incline, any obstacle, and it will continue that, that very same speed through that crawl and give you a good stable throttle. And then since it is a 2300 kV, it does have some, some wheel speed to it depending on your gearing, uh, which is nice. So there is a wide range of throttle. It's a two-in-one, so you don't have two separate components. The motor and ESC are built into one. The second thing is the FOC technology, which is like sign mode. It is fantastic. The third thing that I really like about this motor is it's quiet. It's virtually silent, as you heard in the video. I mean, there's next to no sound for it, which is not always the case in some of these motor ESCs combinations, such as the Castle products. They are really whiny. Now let's move into some things that I don't necessarily like about the motor, and that is the weight combination. So the weight of this single product actually is like three times more than something like this ESC and Outrunner combination. So if you're building a comp truck, then you're not necessarily going to want to use this. You're going to want to use something that's light to keep the weight down low on the axles. There's nothing wrong with using this for a comp truck, but you will have a higher center of gravity. While it does have an aluminum case, the cooling properties are not necessarily very good, which is why that run was very short. We hit thermal on 3S in around four minutes, where other ESCs were seeing the thermal mark around the five minute mark or more, this one is seeing a thermal at the four minute mark or less. Outside of that, the downsides to the motor are not really downsides for 90% of the vehicles out there. They're just downsides for comp trucks. Otherwise, there is nothing but overwhelming positivity for this two-in-one combination. Uh, did it perform like the other uh, combinations? No, not necessarily, but this is something that these aren't. This is waterproof. These are not waterproof. So your trail trucks and things of that nature are going to benefit greatly from having these because you like to go in water. I like to go in water and I can't really do that with these other electronics over here. So we will at some point make a Excel chart like we did with the other motors for all of the motors and place them on the website. Unfortunately, it's just been a really busy time for us. We hope you enjoyed the video or at least got something out of it. Thanks for making it this far. We really appreciate it. Huge shout out to the people coming up next and we hope you have a great day.